Slow Horses was a magical find of season one in the Apple original series that is basically feels like it's a BBC original but it's definitely an Apple original and so I was very excited to hear that this got renewed and then it came out of nowhere that it kind of is it's out on Friday, the first two episodes, the embargo is up, and I was just like, wow, they didn't waste any time. So I'm going to be talking about that first episode as the only the first two episodes drop. I don't want to do any spoilers, but kind of remind you of why this series is what it is. Is it still sticking the landing in this first episode of the second season? Kind of those questions, so let's jump in. Slow Horses is a darkly funny espionage drama of a team-based British intelligent agents who serve in a dumping ground department of MI5 due to their career-ending mistakes. I mean, one of the draws for this series is obviously going to be Gary Oldman. I loved him in the first season. For me, the harshness of his character was building his agents back up without them even knowing it. And so when we get the story that we had in season one, which was fairly big in the end, I would say that that is by the by. I was like, okay, we've got an espionage story. I expect that to happen. But when they were in their offices at Slough House and the characters were interacting with each other, that's when it shines. It's kind of like the office espionage almost filmed that way. And then we have the story that comes around it. And that's what's great about episode one of season two. They've stuck the landing because they've gone with what they're good at. But they've also introduced a new arc, a new story that starts off with something happening with to somebody and our agents that then have to pick up the slack as they the agents that are there already are trying to get out of slough house because it's known as that place where agents go to die this that's the end of your career and so they're all kind of scattered they're still around but they're kind of scattered and so gary oldman's character has to bring them back really to focus in the way that he does best by underhanding them by bringing them down but this season particularly especially this first episode so far what gary has done what we've seen him do with his character we get to see him outside a bit and act as someone else or almost act as someone's relation and you see how he can switcheroo his character the performance he brings in every role gary oldman is always the thing to go and find if he's in something you'll know it'll be good regardless of what he's in and then you get the feather and the cap as if what he's in is actually really good then you know you're in for a treat i don't know that gary oldman has ever done a, a tv series but the fact that he keeps coming back to this one kind of gives you an idea as to the quality then you have the comedy mixed in with the, the kind of real world elements of what's happening you have them sticking the landing with the comedy that already works simple things like the door to slough house is so broken that you have to kick it in with your foot really jingle it they have no money or expenses to build anything up they've just got to kind of use their brains and old old technology and building around them and try and circumnavigate this place that they've been put in you know the slough house has no money nobody cares about them whenever they say something they don't trust them because they've made mistakes in their career and this is kind of like the dark house where people put them that is still the case yeah so you're very much on their on their side because rooting for the underdog i find at least is really fun and so we have this first initial meet up again of our team coming back together having to face a new story a new arc and then getting going so it's just getting going there's a, it's a, there's some intrigue and mystery as to what's happening with our characters there is some bickering and a, a, a bumping of heads again as to who's going to be in what position i think it's a lot of fun and i love how gary oldman's character is just totally the leader without really being the leader you'll know what i mean when you watch the series definitely give this a go if you haven't stuck it on your watch list yet it's apple tv so i know not that many people have it but you can get like a free month and trial that and binge watch everything that has the letter s to it will be worth you especially slow horses thanks so much for watching most of all until next time remember live long and tuesday